Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, today our topic, as you see in the title, it says, Man created Allah or Allah created the man. A person, he asked uh, uh, Zakar Naik, peace be upon him. So he, the question is, who created Allah? And how Zakar Naik answered the question? Very simple. It's just two words. Very easy. The question is illogical. <laughs> the question is not illogical. <laughs> you know, I like it when a Muslim he speak about logic. So, you know, the easiest way to refute somebody to say to him the question is not logical. Like, you know, if this guy is a Greek person and he grew up in a philosophy country and, you know, the whole nation is a philosophers, I will say, okay, you know what? Those people, they go by logic. So look who is talking about logic, the one who believed that his God will give him endless number of women to have sex with just because he pray five times a day and he hate his neighbor. A person who believed that his private part will be endless and the women she would have a vagina fit for that. A person who believe that, you know, the sun set in murky water and he tried to fix it. He says in, it's in the perspective of Zulqurnayn. Why Zulqurnayn was a donkey? What perspective of Zulqurnayn? And the Quran does not say perspective. So when, when the Muhammadan, they try to refute somebody and they don't have an answer for what the question is. They come with silly, stupid answer because they have no answer. In fact, if we go in the Hadith, we will find that the Muslims believe, now for sure the Muslim says to you, no, we don't believe in that, but this is in their books, that when Allah decided to create himself, he made a horse run, and then he created himself from the sweat of the horse. From what? From the sweat of the horse. So even the Muslims, they have different answer from what Zakir Naik, he says. Let me find you the reference so people will not say I'm making things up. You know, and uh, when I go like live, I just, okay, I decide to go live and I look what YouTube show me and I choose a topic from what YouTube show me. Like YouTube suggests for me always when I open it, uh, some videos. Uh... <clears throat> Let us see here. I'm just trying to find you an official website so we can read it from. Let's see. I will be with you in a second. I have actually, I have the reference in front of me. Uh, okay, let's use this one. Now, the Muslims, by the way, they say those hadith are a lie. We don't believe in them. But you need to ask yourself how even those those stories is mentioned and how it's written in their books and why it's in their books if it is a lie anyway. You know, I mean, if, uh, uh, you know, what's wrong with this religion? Why everything, why everything, you know, in this religion uh, is embarrassment? Uh, and the second Muslim he tried to f to fix the problem, the easiest way is to say this is a lie. Somebody wrote it. You know, the, the scholar who said that, you know, he is a stupid. You know, he is a donkey. Uh, he did not, you know, he, he don't know what he's talking about. So who is the one who knows to talk what to talk about? 
Let us see. I found a website, but they are like insulting. Man. You know, may Allah curse the one who 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 wrote this website, this hadith. Uh, you know, oh boy. Okay, let's see. I posted before, you know. Uh, <clears throat> Sometimes we get lucky and we get right away the, the trustworthy uh, sources so we can post it. All right, let's see this one here. Here we go. Now here they will say to you that the hadith is mawdu'a, mawdu'a which means rejected, you know. But this is in their books, and here you now ask yourself, uh, why it's even there? In Allah khalaqa al-faras, fa'ajraha, fa'ariqat, thumma khalaqa nafsahu minha. Allah, he created the horses, and he's speaking here about mostly female horse, horses. And he made them run, like run, like heavy duty running. And then he, you know, uh, he created himself from the sweat of the horses. If we use Google Translation, as you see in the front of you, Allah created the horse, so he made it sweat, and then he created himself from it. And those are the numbers for the hadith, as you see here. And this hadith repeated many, many times. It's not like only once. So, uh, me, myself, I'm not going even to consider this hadith as a proof who is Allah, because I believe even this is, is stupid. This is even stupid, you know. I'm, I'm not going to say to a Muslim, your God Allah created from a sweat of a donkey. Uh, he will say no, no problem. But your God could not be the the one who created anything. Who created Allah? Zakir Naik says the question is not logical. Why? And the funny is, in his video here, he said, John he went to the hospital and he John gave birth to a child. What was the gender of the child, boy or a girl? And then he said, this is not logical. Why? Because John, he cannot give birth. But John is a human, not God. God can give. If he is God, I mean, who is going to tell God what you can, what you cannot do? So they are asking you about Allah. And you are saying, John, he went to the, to the, to the hospital. Same time, in the books of Hadith, the Hadith says that a Muslim... <clears throat> A Muslim man in the heaven, he is going to give and deliver babies. Uh, let us see. Ah, here we go. This is hadith. In case you do not know what hadith mean, hadith mean a speech of the Prophet or even sometime his companions. So, Muhammad he said, as you see, when the believer want a child in paradise, he will be conceived hmm, and be growing up in a short while according to his desire. Actually, this is a false translation. In Arabic, it says, fi sa'a. Sa'a in the, in, the, in, the, in the Arabic language today, mean an hour but th this is not how it is in the time of muhammad sa so at that time it's like between 15, 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes maximum so if a man he wished to have a child he will conceive it like the translation here is not really uh, good let us see the from different one uh, yeah 
Yeah, you see here the the uh, the same hadith. Uh, let us see. Yeah, they are not giving an accurate translation. So, uh, uh, when a Muslim he answer about a question, which is a serious question, and he say it's not logical, well, you should be a person who follow logic. Then, is it logical that Mary? She gave birth to Jesus according to Islam and she is a virgin. Is that a logical thing? What you were saying, you say it's a miracle. So how come when they ask you about who created your God, you don't use the logic which is logical for you? Is it possible that somebody created Allah? Allah is just a word. Allah is not God. If he is God, prove it to us. If he is God, prove it to us. I'm, my Skype is open. If there is any Muslim would like to join us and prove to us that Allah is God and he exists, I will be happy to take you. Right? <clears throat> uh... Let us see here. All right, look like somebody saying he is a Muslim. Let us see if I don't know if this is, but this is from yesterday. <clears throat> you know, the problem we do not know if people are asleep. You know, the guy he texted me yesterday when I was off. <laughs> We will call him anyway. If you are a Muslim, you like to join us, please feel free. He is not answering. Okay. Let us see. All right, somebody's saying he got a shake to call me, but I didn't know when he will call me. I just told him, well, he can, you know, let, let them call me. There's no need for, you know, set up a time. They can call anytime. So what is the proof that Allah is exist? If there is any proof. Any Muslim can tell Allah is exist. If Allah is exist, and Allah is God, then he must be a stupid God. That's mean there's a smart God and stupid God. Is that possible? What do you think? Because based what of what we learn from the Quran and from what Muhammad said, obviously the one who is behind the religion of Islam must be very stupid. So if we believe that there is a stupid God, that means there is a smart God. But in this scenario, we can confirm that Allah is a stupid God if he is exists as God. Is it possible that there's many gods and one of them is a stupid, so stupid, and his name is Allah? Any Muslim can give us an answer? Name for me one thing Allah, he said, is not stupid. If he exists, if this is the one, not Muhammad, copying from Waraq ibn Nawfal, his real father, uh, and copying stories from the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and the Persian, and Alexander the Great, you know. Any Muslim can help us? Is it possible that there is a smart gods and stupid gods? Because if Allah is really God, let us say he is from family of gods. Let us say that there's a family, there's a billion god maybe, hmm? a tribe. All of them they are gods, like those two we see in the movies. And Allah, based on what we learn from what he said, he must be the most stupid God between them. What do you think? Who is going to call me and prove to me that Allah is not a stupid God? Huh? 
anyone? If there is any Muslim would like to call me and tell me that Allah is not a stupid God. <clears throat> Anyone? Any Mohammedan? We're not asking you for miracles, we're asking you Is your God Allah is smart? Prove it. You know, God and yet stupid, that's, that's really funny. Like as an example, you know, the Quran says, Aka Allah, that there is hail coming from mountains in heaven. That's stupid. Don't you agree with me, Muslims? Hmm? You know, you can you can, you can tell those uh, like uh, ignorant American, Australian, Canadian, Indonesian, you know, those who do not know anything about Islam, and they are by millions. But you cannot fool us. We have all the laundry of Allah. Is it possible that there is God who do not know how ice is made? Is it? Any Muslim. And then now we see nothing. <clears throat> I do not need to study uh, philosophy and logic, and I do not need to be smart like Zach and Egg because Zach and Egg is genius, you know. I mean, he is he is a genius. What kind of God is God? Is? And when the Muslim they try. To mislead people, look what they say in the translation. That Allah, <laughs> Allah, He sends down from the sky mountain mass of a cloud wherein is hail. Is it just really what the what the verse is saying? Do you have even a, like a little dignity? Who is a Muslim? He can call me and he say, yes, this is what the verse is saying. No dignity, no honor, and and the funny is they say that Christians and Jews and other religion they you know they corrupted their book, but isn't this a corruption? The Quran in Arabic it says, وَيُنْزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِنْ جِبَالٍ فِيهَا مِنْ بَرَدٍ فَيُصِيبُ بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ. If we change the translator, we will see a different story. I mean, what's wrong with this religion? Is it really what it says in the Quran or those people making things up? He sent down out of heaven mountains. Where is hail? Still, this translation is not accurate, by the way. But it's close. A little bit more honest. You see, there's no cloud here. They add a cloud and they add, it says it clearly, he sent hail from mountains in heaven. And even if we go to Ibn Kathir, it says he sent down hail from mountains in heaven. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Let's see Ibn Kathir what he's saying. Can we? Because maybe Ibn Kathir, by the way, he worked for a Christian prince. Or maybe a Tabari or a Jalalin or etc. You know, they work for a Christian prince. So chapter 24, verse number 43. 24. <clears throat> Read with me, and this is Ibn Kathir. What you will say now, Ibn Kathir is from Afghanistan. He don't speak good Arabic like he is like he is the Sheikh, the fake Sheikh Uthman. Luta, al Luta. 
Huh? Is that the case? This is Ibn Kathir saying, from Min mountains in Min ice means there is our mountain of hail in the sky. Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see it? Uh, Abdul saying to me, can you lie a little less, please? Well, if you want to do that, I have to stop reading your book. Because as you see, in the front of you, I'm showing you one of the most stupid lies of your God. And you are asking me, can you lie, please, little less, please? How I can stop lying as long as I'm reading your Quran? The biggest lie ever. How you refute this? Is that your book? Can you stop lying, please, a little bit, please? Can you, please? Please, please, please. Can you? Means that there are mountains of hail in the sky which Allah sent down hail from it. Can you, Christian Prince, lie, please, a little bit, please, please? Can you, please, please? Come on, you are lying a lot. <laughs> Ibn Kathir is lying a lot. The Prophet of Allah is lying a lot. Allah is lying a lot. And now, because I'm reading your book, I'm lying a lot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and you know, they say to you, this guy is a liar. What is the proof? He's lying to you. This is stupid Ibn Kathir. I mean, can you see how dumb they are? We show them the reference, we put it in the screen, we give them the website, we give them the verse, we give them the chapter, we show the translation, and yet they say here, can you please stop lying, please? And what happened to your name? Your name like looked like Allah, you know, he was making a mixer, cocktail a drunk, drink before he got drunk and he made this verse. So the stupid Muhammad, who he claimed that his God is telling him how hate is made, he figured it out. How Muhammad knew this? God told him. Who is the one who said this? God? Allah? So when a Muslim he answers says, his name is the F word, no problem. He can F as much he want. I will leave it in the screen. <laughs> he can F. This is the best you can do. Potatoes like their prophet and not only that all the scholars agree about this verse meaning you know it's not like one or two or three or four you know the whole gang all the gang do you see it this is Tafsir Jalalain. And he sent down from heaven, heaven out of mountains, and they explain to you the Arabic. Min Jibalin. <laughs> Let us see this guy. So, how we are lying? You know, yesterday we received call from Ultimate Fort, and he was speaking as a as a homosexual. You know, he called himself a girl, and he speak like a girl. I mean, this guy, I don't know if he's a guy or not, but this guy is really weird. Can you believe it that this guy is acting like a girl, speaking to me? Hi, how are you? You know, and he changed his voice, and he changed his pants. I mean, no dignity. Scammers. Fakira. Hello? Hello? Is that Fakira? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Who is with me? Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Oh, mute YouTube. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah. All right. Who is talking with me, my friend? Okay, uh, you're talking to 
Uh, uh, Baro. Huh? You're talking to you're talking to Baro. You are talking to okay, what? I want to tell you some Baro. Your name is what? B A R O. B R what? B A R O. Baro. 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 You know Baro? I don't know. Your name in Skype is Muhammad. So what is your name? Muhammad or Baro? What? What is that? Muhammad Baro. Oh, okay. Where are you? Where are you from, my friend? From here. From here. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I I am from there. So what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Why 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 you 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 know you know you know why you're talking you you lie too much. You know uh, that? Okay, you lie about what? Yeah. You but, don't know why you you know you know you are you don't 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 talking like this. Like like what? Like 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 what? Can, can, can you tell me what the, the lie I just said? You don't you don't know you don't know what you said? No, 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 you, I do not know. You tell me, I did lie. You know, I was reading the, the, the Quran, and, and the Quran says that Allah He sent the uh, hail from mountains in heaven. So, what do you think about that? Mute YouTube, mute YouTube. You're gonna run now? Yeah, here we go. Run. Fakira, Fakira. <laughs> you want to run now? <laughs> Can you answer about this, your son of Muta? I will never let you speak because you are a filthy sewage mouth. And we have you recorded millions of times, and the last time you said the F word to your prophet. We made you famous. Fakira, son of Muta. Hey, Fakira. I know he's a Fakira. <laughs> Stop lying, stop lying. I mean, look, it's in the front of you. The translation, the Arabic, the English, your Muslim website, your, you know, your... <laughs> Fakira. <laughs> you know, I could not believe it that yesterday he called me uh, using a voice of a, of, a, of a homosexual. Hi, how are you? Why are you here? And I said, are you ultimate part? Who is ultimate part? Oh, like what the heck? <laughs> the recording is there. I want everybody to download the video yesterday and post it. Ultimate fourth <laughs> is is a, is <laughs> you know what you know you know the thing. Oh boy, <laughs> it's still there. I challenged this son of Muta to download the video and put it in his channel. <laughs> are you running? <laughs> sure, we are on. <laughs> Do we have a real Muslim? And not only that, can you believe it that in in the in, in the Skype he called himself Muslim? He's I'm a Muslim, I'm a Muslim, not Muslim. He's even insulting Muslims, Muslims, <laughs> Muslim, Muslim, which means dark, <laughs> like living in darkness, Muslim, idiot. Uh, do we have any brave Muslim? He have the courage. The only one. In scoring us is a fakira, and he f is a prophet, and he believe he follow the, the messenger of Allah, Rashad Khalifa, <laughs> which means according to Islam he is a kafir. <laughs> fakira. Any brave Muslim can tell us, is it possible that you have a god? Maybe he exists, but he is a stupid god. Is that possible? Any Muslim? Is it possible that your God is exist, but yet he is a stupid? Because we confirm that Allah is stupid. It's in front of you. Read it. See, the website I'm showing you now, not only this is Tafsir al this is the official government of the Kingdom of Jordan. If we can call it Kingdom, and this guy is a potato, the, 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 the British intelligent, his, Her Majesty, the Queen, she grabbed a guy from Arabia, he's a Bedouin, he lived in the tent, he did not take a shower for a year, and she, you know, they spread the news that he is descended from Muhammad family, and then they made him a king so they can get rid of the Ottoman Empire. But at the end of the day, you have to take it. Those people, they claim that they are from the family of Muhammad, as you see, it says, the project of Ahl al-Bayt, Institute of Islamic Thought. 
Hmm? You can email them if you are not sure about this website. And this is Tafsir al Jalalain. So, anyone can tell us how God Fakira, let us call Allah from now on Fakira. Thank you, Fakira, for giving us an idea. Fakira, by the way, the word, I mean, Fakira is a female name, you know? And actually, no, nobody, no Arab use such a name. I mean, this is stupid, Fakira, you know? Uh, there is Shakira, you know, you know Shakira? <laughs> but Fakira? <laughs> That's something. <laughs> Somebody saying to me, Quran is perfect, tafsir is not, but Quran is not, the, see the tafsir in front of you did not add anything. The Quran says, Allah sent hail from mountains in heaven. The tafsir did not add anything, the tafsir is just adding, repeating this, what the verse, the verse in front of you. So, the tafsir is not perfect, the Quran is perfect, but the one is saying that is the Quran. The tafsir here is not doing anything. They did not even in tafsir, just repeating what the Quran is saying. Anyone who speaks it in Arabic, he will see it says, Allah, he sent down hail from mountains in heaven. If you don't believe me, let Shakira read for you. Not Fakira, because Fakira, the one she called me two minutes ago, she don't know Arabic. And she is the one who claimed that we do not need to know Arabic. So how you can read your book? <laughs> So my friend, it's in the front of you, it says, So don't tell me, that's the cloud. Okay, what is the word the cloud? You see, the word the cloud is in the beginning of the verse, but then it says, this is the second part, it says, he continued, this is additional to the first, the beginning of the verse. So from here, let us go to the website here. If you speak Arabic, if you know a little Arabic, you will find right away that this is what I'm what I'm saying is true. And this is why, did you ask yourself why the tafsir saying the same? Let us say the Christian prince, you know, he is not giving us the correct information. Why, why the tafsir, they understood the Arabic and those are the scholars. As I'm saying, because this is what it says. Ibn Kathir al Qurtubi al Jalalain. So don't play the game. It says here, wa yuniziru wa harf atf. Harf atf means they are continuous. It says and, and. So the first chapter, first beginning of the, the verse here, this is the beginning. And then continue until here. And then this is the second part. We start from here again. Wa yuniziru min as sama'i min jibarin fiha min baradin fa yusibu bihi man yasha. And this is your Muslim translation. So, you can say the tafsir is not perfect, which is a very stupid statement, because if the tafsir is not good, why you call it tafsir? Have you ever heard of, uh, of a religion? They follow scholar, they call him a scholar when he's an idiot. Hmm? If you are trying to say to me that my scholars are idiots, and I agree, but, but that will not change the fact they did not even interpret anything. They just read the verse. They are translating the verses, and he sent down from the sky, from mountains in it, hail. So what do you do? You try, you know, you go in denial. You say, it doesn't say that. You know what? All what you need to do, just copy the words in Arabic and post it in Google Translation. What do you think? Don't post the whole verse, just post a line. Because sometimes Google, what the Google do, search for translation, match exactly, and show you translation from those website. But we can do, we can copy the line. Like this. And we can take it and paste it in the Arabic translation in Google. And this is Google Translation. Oh. 
وينزل من السماء من جبال فيها من برد فيصيب به من يشاء. And he sent down from the sky mountains of hail. The translation is not very accurate. From mountains of hail, hail to strike with whoever he wish. What will we do now? Explain 42.32. Why you are changing topic? Guys, explain 42.32. We are in 24, verse number 43. No problem. What about you call me and I will open the verses you want me to go to? I promise. Mr. Come Toward the Truth. What about you call me and I'm going to go in the front of everybody and I will open the, the verses. And, you know, if, if I open now 42, 32, are you sure you will not regret? Are you sure you will not regret? Let us go. Guys, did he choose chapter 42? Is that my choice? Is that my choice? Be my witness. It's not my choice. He is the one who chose this chapter. Let me put, uh, let me take a, a screenshot of his request. Hmm. Now, in front of everybody, do you accept this chapter to be from God? Look what the chapter 42 says. Let me switch to the English translation. This is what uh, this is Fakira do, by the way. Fakira, many would like Fakira when they call you. They say, uh, You know, they are not reading Arabic. They are reading in English letters. You know what I mean? They don't know Arabic. They will read like this. You see those things? It sounds like Arabic. So for you, like a, a foreigner, you think, oh, he's reading Arabic. Huh? But he is not even, he don't even want Arabic word. But look what will happen now. You choose for me chapter 42, but in chapter 42, it says that Muhammad, he was sent only to Mecca and what is around it. And this is why we send you the Quran in Arabic. This is chapter 42. Do you see it? In chapter 42, the Quran says that Muslims are pagan and they will, you know, it says here, have you taken awliya, not for worshippers, awliya, awliya mean protectors, uh, uh, you know, friends, etc. Like the one, uh, you know, like a father for you or uh, someone who is in charge of you. Beside him, Allah, but this is what the Muslims do. Allah he never spoke to Muslims and Muhammad. He is the one. He can even cancel the Quran. This is chapter 42. Look how Allah, he solved the problems. <laughs> now, if we go to the verses he mentioned, he will now, he will say, I don't want to talk about it no more. Let us go to chapter 42, verse number 32. I find it very funny. He's asking me to explain. <laughs> Guys, from the signs of Allah that the ship, they can go in the ocean. It's a miracle of Allah. Can you believe it that a Muslim, he decided to prove to me that the Quran is made by God. He decided to tell me that a boat which I buy from Amazon, like a flammable, like those you, you, you put some air on that inside them, those are the signs of Allah. Hmm. Here we go, read it. Quran, me reading. Hmm. Are you there? So, this is the proof that your God is God? The ships in the ocean, they swim? Allah, he made them swim. Don't you think, you see, we are saying, we are talking about how stupid the Quran author. So now you choose for me a verse showing that Muhammad is a stupid. 
What about submarine, my friend? Is that a miracle of Allah? This is a miracle of Allah? I mean, what a stupid religion. This is a sign? And you ask me to read it for everybody to prove that Allah is God. Hmm. Guys, look. This is challenging me. He ran away from the hail coming from mountains in heaven and he asked me to show this. Because now after you see this, all of you, you will convert. Be honest with me, how many of you now is thinking about converting after you find out that the ships float because of Allah? It's a sign from Allah. Hmm? Like those American ships, like, you know, the carrier for, uh, for, for fighter jets. And this is a miracle of Allah. Hmm. That's deep. And who is talking Allah? And yet you are telling me that your God is not stupid. So even if your God is exist, you just gave me a proof. Thank you for reminding me of this verse. You know, what a sign, man. That's so good. Now I know why the ducks, they say, walk, 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 walk. They are amazed by Allah. This is his name in, in the duck language. In the duck language, Allah name is Wak Wak, and a Christian prince is walking your God every day. Quran says a cloud is massive. What? Why you are switching backward, forward? We went. We were in the cloud area. You asked me to go here, and now we go there. Right, let us go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, read with me. Do you see this part? Here we go. I'm showing you your translation. This part speak about the cloud, but here it says, and and uh, uh, and then it says here, and he sent down out of heaven mountains where is hail. There is no cloud. Change the translator. Which translator you want? Let's see this Ahmed Ali. Hmm. He sent down hail from sky where are mountains of it. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what cloud? And if it, if it is coming from a cloud, why all your scholars saying no? It says, read, he sent down from heaven out of mountains. Out of mountains. Mean, read with me carefully that there are in heaven mountains and he sent down hail from it. And the same, this is Ibn Kathir. Mean, there are mountains of hail in the sky. So how come those scholars, they understood the Arabic Quran wrongly? But look what happened when we mentioned, when we show him how stupid the verse he gave us about the ship, he right away, he decided to go back. He says, oh, oh, what I did, I just showed him a stupid verse in the Quran saying that one of the signs of Allah, that Allah, he make the ship float. It's a sign from Allah. You know, Jesus walk in water, Allah make the ship float. That's the same. Just think about it. What Jesus do? He walk in the water. Not only that, he, he made his disciple walk in the water. Hmm. What Allah, how Allah, he proved that he's God? Yeah, look at the ship. Just look at the ship, man. It's Allah. Hold on, I have a call. Let us see. Who is calling? Christian Prince, first of all, I trained you and don't hang up on me. Exactly, like I will not hang up on you. What are you talking about? No way I will hang up on you. I can't even hang up on you. I can hang you. Hang up on you, no. 
So now I'm going to hang you from your tail. Zach and I, why are you calling me? Great and Prince. Allah is showing us that he is the one that needed for everything to be floating. Okay. I remember when there was a flood in Mecca, and I can show you the pictures. There's a lot of poopoo -poo was floating around the Kaaba. Is that one of his signs? Great and Prince, respect yourself. The flood in Mecca has to do with our topic. Oh, hold on. But isn't it the Kaaba? Is it chosen as a location by Allah? Exactly. Okay. So why he chose the worst location in the world? It keep it flooding and all the poo poo because in Mecca there is no sewage. They have something they call it bayara. And bayara mean a septic tank, you know, but there's no cover for it. So the shit will go out when the flood comes. And all the poopoo will go around the car. But let me show you pictures I can make. Chris and Prince, I don't want to see the picture. And you know what? I'm going to sue you. Look, what do you want? What do you mean you are going to sue me for what? Because you didn't use the word shit in your YouTube. I use the word shit always in YouTube. What you can do about it? Even your Quran say the word shit. You want to show it to you? Chris and Prince, I use the Quran word by word. And don't try to play with our shit. What do you mean don't play with your shit? I'm not playing with it. I'm throwing it at you. So if we go right now, Chris and Prince, I'm warning you, don't throw me the cab of being flooded. Look, what's wrong with you? Why you are terrified? I'm telling you. Because I can like, hold on. I'm going to put you on hold. Oh. <laughs> Zakir, if you are talking, I can't hear you, okay? I just put you on hold. I cannot hear you. I'm telling you. One of the easiest proof that Islam is a fraud. The Muslim they say that Allah He chose the location of the Kaaba. Don't they? Even they have videos about how amazing the location. It is in the middle of the earth. How it can be in the middle of the earth? You eat it. Is the earth is flat? And then we find that the Kaaba always since Muhammad and before, when there is little rain happen, the Kaaba will be flooded and surrounded by poopoo. Here you need to ask yourself. If Allah is the one who chose the location for the Kaaba, how stupid he is. Look how dirty the water, man. Look how dirty the, 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 this water. Look. And this is when, this is when we start having cameras, you know? And then the, the Saudi, when they have money from the oil, they start asking the American engineering companies to find a way to divert the flood away from the Kaaba. Allah could not do it. Do you see? Oh, I forgot uh, Zachar Naik is in hold. Christian Prince, you are a coward and you did not make me talk. I go, hold on. Do you see the picture in front of you? Christian Prince, I close my eyes. Why you close your eyes? You don't want to see poo poo? Christian Prince, I told you I'm not going to look at the picture. But you look at them, you don't look at them. They are there, they are all over you too. How Allah He choose the location of the Kaaba. And let us say he chose the long location. Can't he use his finger and raise the ground and then the Kaaba make it like 20 meter high? So it will be a miracle like the, the, the water cannot touch it no more. Christian Prince, Allah he will never use his finger. And the only time he used his finger is to give it to you. What the heck? Allah will give me a finger. Which one? Christian Prince, respect yourself. Allah, he used only one finger. Which one? I can't tell you. What the heck? This is God. So this God, he decided to choose the best location for his house. His house on earth. His house on the earth. And what he did, he chose in the worst location where it's flooded by, by poo, poo Do you want me to prove that this is a fake story that Allah, he sent the angels 40 years or 40,000 years before Adam, and they put the black stone there, and then they built the Kaaba, and then Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka. Look, what the heck? Adam landed in Sri Lanka. And now I know why we are Arab. We like tea. Like in the Middle East, like tea is our beer. You know, like you go like tea, coffee, tea, coffee. So, Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka, and this is the house of Allah. So why Allah, he sent Adam to Sri Lanka if his house in Mecca? And how Adam was, Adam walked in the water too? Sri Lanka is an island. It's not connected to India. How Adam, he walked in the water? At that time, he made a ship, by the way. Do you think he made a ship? 
you know what? I think Adam is so good in swimming. I think he's like Tarzan, you know? He's just a fresh came from heaven. He eat uh, real honey. And... Uh... <laughs> So this is the house of Allah? Is it? You know, let me show you an old, by the way, old picture for the Kaaba. Like now you see the Kaaba, how it is, there's marble, you know, this is the oil money. Hmm. You want to see the Kaaba just a hundred years ago? You will not believe it. Dirty. ugly look at this guys this is the Kaaba can you believe it nothing this is just a hundred years ago this is after we have cameras can you believe it this is the Kaaba While the Ottoman and the Caliphate were building palaces using the Christian, because they do not know, those Arabs do not know how to build palace. Fancy houses, mansions. This is their house, the house of Allah, thrown in the garbage. This is an older picture of the Kaaba. Look at this. Just look. <laughs> the, house of, the house of Allah. <laughs> uh, and not only that, they used to go, look at this one. Here, now it's now here, it, now they, have, they open the stores, but it's still the ground is dirt. Look at this. And they have, a, they, they have a, a fence around it. Very funny fence. Look at this. It's like a cowboy. Do you see? There, it's a dirt. It's totally dirt. The ground is just dirt. And they open, and now that the Kaaba is kind of like the Mecca getting bigger, and more people come in, and etc. Here the oil start coming, you know, the money of the oil. But look at this. This is the Kaaba, and this is where Shaitan he live. But this is in the old days. Now they moved him. They moved his location, and they put him in a very fancy three, four floors concrete. This is the house of Shaitan, brother. This is where Muslims, they go and throw stones. You see like the circle and the column in the middle? Muslims, they have to go and throw, they call it Ramyu Jamarat. Jamarat, like, uh, uh, you know, the, the word Jamarat is usually, uh, Jamarat is uh, like, you know, when, when you have a circle and it's like, uh, uh, like glowing from heat, you know? But anyway, so supposedly they are throwing a circle, but it's a, it's a, it's a rock. At the shaitan brother. And the funny is, Allah and shaitan, they are neighbors. They live in the same town. But then, uh, look, this is the mount where now, like this is after they put it there and became higher. Look, look how big, how big the column became. Before it was a small. Look at the Kaaba here. Look, look, look. Donkeys, horses. Look, this is an old picture of the Kaaba. Look at this, look, look. Look how dirty the ground look. This is the Kaaba. Oh boy. Now there's marble, there is. Compare it to the Temple of Jerusalem. Okay, somebody is asking me to compare it to the Temple of Jerusalem a thousand of years ago. That's a good choice. From now on, I will make you an admin when we are not live. Are you happy? All right. Uh, <clears throat> the temple of Jerusalem, for sure, like there is, you know, the, the temple building have uh, stages. But just to give you an idea, this is like uh, 
uh, you know, uh, resembling for it because we know that most of it destroyed. But until now, we have a massive rocks and stones, and there are discoveries under the ground, and it's it's a massive, it's amazing, it's so big, uh, you know. And look at the Kaaba. The Kaaba. This is what we have today, you know. Like this is the leftover. You know, some of it. How oh, stupid this religion is. The Caliphate, they were building palaces in Spain, taking Christians from Syria, uh, you know, because they are very good quality in building from Egypt to build for them palaces. You know, Muslims, if you open Ibn, uh, uh, Ibn Khaldun, a philosopher, Muslim, they are proud about him. He says the Arab, they were savage. And they are willing to destroy a palace or a library just to cook in it. Just to use it for fire. That is Islam, my friend. The Kaaba in the wrong location. Adam was sent in the wrong location. Eve, she was dropped in Jeddah. You know what is driving me? I mean, like, Christian, Christian Prince. You just didn't drive me. That mean you are being driven by the town. Like shit, I stupid, stupid second like, Where you came from, now? I thought I hang up on you, Christian Prince. Nobody can hang up on me because they lied with me. What hang up on you, you idiot? The Jewish woman, she killed your prophet by poison, rat poison. What do you mean? Are you more stronger than the prophet? She put some poison for him in the goat, and he ate the goat, and you know. Christian Prince, first of all, it's a miracle because the goat, she told the prophet not to eat. The goat, she told the prophet not to eat after he ate? Exactly. I mean, who's the stupid here? Shouldn't the goat speak before the guy eat? Christian Prince, the goat, he was not able to talk because he was cooked. Okay. And then it took her time to be able to cook to talk. What the heck? So it took her time to be able to talk and her head is cut off and she is being cooked. She's barbecued. And now she waited until the prophet, he ate from it. And then the goat, she told him, don't eat me. Is that a convincing story, Zachary? Nae? Britain Prince. First of all, Allah was trying his best to make the goat to talk before the prophet take his first bite. But it took time, and this is why the goat she speak later. But the prophet he died from poison anyway. So what the point? It didn't matter. Allah he made the goat talk. Is, is that can like the goat talk? The, is, is that the same goat who ate the Quran? Christian Prince, the story about the goat eating the Quran that is different goat. This goat is what cooked you stupid. You are talking about different goat. It doesn't matter if it's a different goat or the same goat. And maybe it's the same goat. We don't know. And maybe she is her cousin. But what kind of God he could not stop? He could not stop a goat from eating his book. Christian Prince, you are thinking the topic. We were talking about the prophet was dying by poison. And secondly, there is no proof that the prophet died by poison. What the heck? The prophet says that. Is your prophet lying? Christian Prince, my prophet don't lie. But maybe, maybe, maybe he thought. What the heck? So he thought, maybe he thought that Allah is talking to him too. And maybe he thought Jibreel is coming to him. And maybe he thought, let us go. So either you take what your prophets say or you don't take. Christian Prince, let us assume that the prophet died by poison. What the problem? Uh -huh. So how Allah, he saved Jesus from, a, from the Jews to kill him. Yet he did not save Muhammad from the Jews. Christian Prince, I have to go right now because my second wife is coming and I have to watch it. Zachary Naik, where are you going? Ask the answer. answer. We have a question. Why Allah did not save Muhammad from the Jews and they killed him by poison, but Allah, he saved Isa from the Jews. Don't you think this is mean that Isa is better than Muhammad and Muhammad, Allah don't care for him, so let him die horrible death? Kithan Prince, I have to go and I have to watch this. Thank you very much. Hey, people, if you like, subscribe to my channel. I have a three million and three million fellow for but nobody understands anything what I'm saying. Thank you very much. The prophet, he died by poison. By what? 
by poison. Rat poison. Who says so? The prophet himself. We call him prophet just for our love. Don't take it seriously. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. They cannot say, you know, da'if, authentic, not to, you know, the game they play. Hmm? Guys, did you download my video and post and and, uh, and post for him to refute me? Uh, I, I would like to see Muslims and Christians send an email to Zakir Naik, including the link, challenging him to answer about which one Allah created first. The mountains or the stars? Tell him in the email, Muslims, that this guy made a lot of Muslims leave Islam. You better do something. You better do something. Do we have any Muhammadan here? <clears throat> well, look like tonight. I mean, it's Saturday night and people are like maybe going out to a restaurant, etc. For me, I don't go out and uh, prefer I to spend my time with you. Even you guys are boring because I never hear you. <laughs> Shame on you. No, I don't hear. Okay, you know what? As long as there's no Muslims calling, Christians can call. As long as no Muslims calling, Christians can call. Who wanna call? Nobody? Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody. Mm -hmm. I was eating. I was eating a goat. And the goat was poison. Nobody. Nobody told me. I ate the goat. And the goat, she, she killed me. Nobody, mm, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, mm, nobody. If the goat she told me, I will not eat you, and I will not die for you. Nobody. Da la la. We are what? We are loud in the chat? That's a lot of loudness. <laughs> <laughs> we are loud we are loud in the chat that's a good one <laughs> Muhammad did not come with this one where do you get this one from <laughs> uh, the only one is trying to contact us is Fakira do we have anybody يخرب سوالفك يا أخ العرب حول هنا إزاعة البي بي سي حول ستنضن إزاعة البي بي سي just I want to greet you if you just want to greet me mm. you don't call liars but you call Allah five times a day <laughs> you know I find it very funny that when a Muslim they call Allah five times a day Remix, he said. Welcome, Remix. You can, you know, you can, like, you know, you can call me names. It's okay, I understand. And you, you are in pain. You are in pain, and you need uh, some alcohol. So, Remix Gamer, he said, I don't call liars. That's good. Let us read the chapter of Al Fatiha. You call Allah five times a day. You don't even say your own words. Not even one word of yours. You repeat what Allah said. Look at the Muslims. They call Allah. But in the case of Allah, there is nobody answering. And then they say to him, What the heck? And then two hours after, they call him again. And then and then three hours later, they call him again. Like, what the heck? And they call him after three hours again. Like, you eat it, at least say something. Imagine there's somebody, he call you five times a day. He don't even say his name. 
He just repeat what I said. This is what Allah said. So you call him five times a day, saying the same stupid thing? The same exact stupid words, which mean nothing? By the way, do you say to him in the name of Allah? How in the world you say to Allah in the name of Allah? Look, they are praying to Allah. They say to Allah in the name of Allah. Why you became a messenger of Allah now? If you say to Allah in the name of Allah, that's mean you are not talking to Allah. People, are you following with me? I know most of us, we read, but you don't see what I see. You know, I, I have a different way of thinking. Look at this. You are talking to Allah. So now you are calling Allah. Allah, he answered you. What would you say to him? In the name of Allah. Like, what the heck? He is Allah. Why you are saying to Allah in the name of Allah? Hmm? Any Muslim? Any Abdul? You call Allah, you tell him in the name of Allah? How silly. Imagine somebody come to your door and your name is Muhammad. You say to him, in the name of Muhammad. I, I am Muhammad. Yeah, in the name of Muhammad. What the heck? Who are you? You are all ears? That's amazing. These days, there's a human being, all of them, they are ears. Our English is funny, isn't it? I am all ears. You know, when I was learning our English, I was like really getting dizzy with this English. Like, I remember once they said, it's, it's, it's raining cats and dogs. What the heck? Raining cats and dogs? What does that mean? I don't see no cats. I see no dogs coming from the sky. Raining cats and dogs. Yeah, anyway, English. The language of Allah is more merciful. So, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, is the most merciful. Who is talking? Allah. Hmm. You refuse to create Quran only Muslims. Fakira. Uh, this guy is not even a Quran alone Muslim. He take only the Quran of Rashad Khalifa, the one who agree that he is a messenger of Allah. <laughs> this is you again, right? Rashad Khalifa, uh, Shushu. You know, you believe that Rashad Khalifa is a messenger of Allah. According to Muslims, you are a kafir, you are not a Muslim. Secondly, the one who accept Rashad Khalifa Quran, he accept then that the Quran is corrupted. Number three, the one who accept Rashad Khalifa Quran and Rashad Khalifa uh, teaching, he believe that the Muslims are pagan and they worship Muhammad. And I can show you the video right now that Rashad Khalifa, he says Muslims are pagan, they worship Muhammad. So this is the guy. And, and he is the guy who said the F word to his prophet. So you are bringing me, if it's not you, you are bringing me the most stupid person to defend your religion. And secondly, when, a, when somebody says Quran only, that alone is a proof that you are an idiot and you decide to run away from Islam because how you learn about Islam without the Hadith? The Quran is empty book, there's nothing. And how you follow verses in the Quran which was canceled by the Hadith? There's tons of verses in the Quran we are cancelled, which means abrogated, by a hadith. So if you don't take the hadith, you don't take the cancellation too. <laughs> Do we have any Muhammadan? All right. <clears throat> Just lower the sound until he answer.
the call declined. And people, they asked me to call and then they declined my call. Let me block you. Oh, maybe he don't mean it. Let us call him again. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I really enjoy listening to you. All right. Uh, I'm a long distance truck driver in South Africa, and I'm also studying to become a teacher. And um, my fiance, um, who stayed in Saudi Arabia for some time, for about three years, she introduced me to you, and ever since I've been sharing your videos and um, I've purchased uh, three of your books. All right. And uh, the last book I cannot purchase, Good Iron and Science, because I don't know if it's. If it's yeah, because, uh, you know, uh, Amazon is hiding it. I will see another way to publish it. Uh, the, the Muslims, they, uh, they are fighting this book, but I'm going to publish it soon in a different way. And yeah. another thing, CP, what I wanted to say, I'm in South Africa, so I think we're having a bit of difficulty getting the books to South Africa because I had to, I had to um, import the book via a friend of mine. Yeah, I, I will, I will try. I will try to make them available in Google Market. I think Google is more, uh, you know, popular more than Amazon, and I will make it easier for people to receive it. In the same time, my friend. All my videos are for free, right? You you got the one who wrote the book speaking to you, so you know here you learn uh, awesome. here, here you learn, and we stay here. As you know, I stay for hours and take calls, and we explain in details. So and I want my my videos for free, right? Yes, yes, definitely, and it's the best. Yeah. It's the best videos ever. Yeah. I share it continuously with all my friends and colleagues. I even have a friend of mine who's a businessman. Uh, in Cape Town, and I introduced him to you, but ever since I introduced him, he has a lot of questions, but he's not responding to any of my um, video requests, and I always invite him to your shows, but I think when certain people, when they find out the truth, they have so much to lose that, you know, they don't want to continue in that, you understand? Yeah, well, uh, you know, they are, they are, you know, they, they will... They will be willing to speak to people who they are ignorant about the religion. If they knew that somebody he would get me busted, they will run away. That would be the end yeah. of their career. Sipo, I want to share something with you. My fiance and I we bought a we bought a house together a few months ago. And the lawyer who we had to sign the papers with, he was a Muslim. And we had coffee at a coffee shop where we had to sign the papers and he okay. asked us if we were Christians, you know, and uh, I'm always very um to share my faith, I'm always willing to share my faith. But I remember in the past when I was at university, I had a lecturer. He always badmouthed Christianity, and I had nothing back to say. But ever since learning from your channel, I was ready for this Muslim, <laughs> and he he wanted to badmouth Christianity. And my first reaction was, you know, speaking about the Quran, and and he couldn't. You could see his face looked like a rat. He couldn't understand that I asked him. I showed him the. Um, I showed him the hadith about, about Aisha being six years old. He wanted to argue, and I showed it to him, uh, Sahih Bukhari. And you could see he was just, he wanted to stop the conversation and leave. Yeah, so if, I if, he notice, if he noticed that you are, if he noticed that you are ignorant, then he will continue the conversation because he, he will see that you are weak, you do not know, he will take advantage. But the second he noticed that maybe you know more than him and you can get him busted easy, so he want to change the topic. And yes, you could see he was so angry in his face. He started to, almost like he wants to shiver, you know. And my girlfriend tapped my fiance, she tapped me. Hmm. And she said, okay, that's that's enough, you know. Because you never know what these people are capable of. They're very radical in Cape Town as yeah, well. Yeah, but never and never fear them. No, no, never, never, never fear them. You know, those radicals, they appear only when they are majority. And when they are minority, they are potatoes. You know, yes, when they are minority, they are potatoes. If, they, if you are alone and there is like a hundred of them, they are heroes. This is who they are. Yes. We know them very well. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, and thank you very much. Yeah. Anything also, else? Okay, go ahead. Times. Go ahead. All right. Now, I was just saying, I always try to share um, in South Africa, especially in Cape Town, because a lot of our Christians, we are very ignorant 
as you stated yesterday, they believe that Ishmael is the father of the, the um, of the Arabs, uh, the father yeah. of the Muslims, and um, you know I always try to advocate for this, uh, but we are very we are very uh, ignorant in church. You know, and we're not willing to change as well. We're not willing to... Well, try your, try your best to share my videos and let more people know about them, you know, if you have Facebook, Twitter, post, and let your group share together. And then you can, you know, uh, this is how, like, uh, you know, knowledge is spread. Like, it's like a snowball, you know, like, uh, I know you live in Africa, you don't have uh, snow, but, uh, uh, you know, but snowball starts small and then it grow, right? You can do that. Always, you can do that. Never give up. Thank you, CP, for all your work. God bless you. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you. I'm listening. You're welcome. And say hello to your fiance, please. Will do. Will do, CP. All right. Thank Take you care. for your time. Take God care. God bless. Yeah. yeah I, I saw one of you said, CP, I have your B, your book in BDF. Do you want it? I mean, isn't it, this is the most stupid statement ever to say to the writer, the author of the book, I have a BDF of your book if you want it. Secondly, if you have a BDF of my book, that's me, you are a thief. Just to let you know. When you take a book without permission of the author, you have it a BDF, that's mean you became a thief. This is what BDF means, unless I give it to you for free. Did I? <laughs> Any book in the world you download, it's not given to you by permission, you are a thief. Very simple. <clears throat> and the funny is, you are saying to the author of the book, I have a BDF of your book, you want me to give it to you? That is really stupid statement. I don't want to offend you, but you offended me too. Uh, <clears throat> as you know, I give uh, tons, all the translation actually of my books for free. Is it right? Indonesian, Russian, Chinese, Albanian, Croatian, you name it. But people, they are so cheap, even the books we like, we try to make little income with them, they want to steal them, even those, you know? Thieves. Uh, yeah, CP, do you want your book? That's a good one. May I ask you a question once you have finished the topic? I need to know what do you think about verse 32, 5, 74. Uh, Maruf, are you a Muslim, my friend? Maruf Ali? I forgot. Why you don't call me and tell me what do you want to know about those verses? Do we have any Muslim? Well, you know, I'm so glad that, you know, the knowledge is going around the world, like, you know, Look at you, people from Indonesia, people from Bangladesh, from Saudi Arabia, who receive calls from Bahrain, people left Islam from Bahrain, from, you know, from everywhere, uh, South Africa. I mean, so this is the nice thing about the internet. You see, if I want to go in the street, I will speak to what, 10 people, five people, seven people. In the internet, uh, the best thing about it, you can share the reference immediately in the screen. Like if you go and look at those, uh, like speaker corners, they are just shouting, you know, I mean, there is nothing. Uh, uh, here, things is perfect. We show you in the screen the reference. We show you what we are reading. We show the one who debate us what we are talking about. Same time, we get them busted. Right? Quran 7179, a man, he does not lie on God or say bad things on him. I don't know, Free Abdurrahman, why you don't call me Free Abdurrahman? I don't understand. Any, guys, any, anyone understand what this guy is saying? Read chapter 7, 179. Okay, if I go to 7, 179, do you promise me that you will not regret that chapter? Do you promise me that you will not say, please change the topic? Here we go. This is Abdul Rahman, Ri Abdul Rahman, asking Christian prince to do what? Read Quran 7, 179. What about we read it from verse number one so we can start laughing 
الف لام ميم صاد دوك وات ذا هيك از ذات اتس اميريكال برادر بدو اور لترز ان اربيك اتس لتر برادر اتس اي اربيك اتس اميريكال ار يو ذير فري عبد الرحمن So why you jump in chapter seven all the way to 179? What about we start reading, you know? Read and laugh. We created you and we gave you shape and then we bade the angels to be straight to Adam. Like what the heck is that? Why Allah is teaching paganism and teaching to worship and to bow down to someone beside him? The first one who taught and he ordered to bow down to human being, it was Allah, the God of Islam. And then he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam and he got upset from Iblis, but Iblis is not an angel. This is the chapter you choose for me. And then look at this. Allah, he said to them, go down. He said to who? He said to the shaitan, get down. And then two minutes after, shaitan is in heaven. Allah told shaitan to get down. Oh, shaitan, he was able to go back inside the heaven after he got down to speak to Adam and Eve. This is the chapter you gave me. Do you want to show you more poopoo? -poo? I did not start. We are just in the beginning. Look, he said to him, get out of here. And then he said to Adam, Adam, go, go, go to the yard, okay, to the garden. Have fun. You are in heaven now. So now Shaitan is out. Out where? Down. Oh, Shaitan, get back again. This is the chapter you asked me to read. Do you want me to continue or stop? So he skipped all the garbage and he said, go to 179. Okay, let us go to 179. Here we go. Let us see what 179 is. Amazing chapter. He want to show you guys. He want to show you something. 179. Hmm. Look at this. Your God, Allah, is going to send the genie who they are made of fire to hell. They are fire. Have you ever heard of somebody is going to burn fire by fire? Isn't it your stupid Quran? In the same day, it says that Allah and that his genie are made of fire. So how you burn someone is made of fire by fire? Are you going to make the fire as hot? Isn't it you Muslim, when a guy, he opened the door, he saw fire over her pubic area. He called the sheikh, he said, Allah, Assalamu Alaikum. Yesterday I opened the door of my uh, house and bedroom and she was touching herself and there was a fire in her pubic area. Fire in her pubic area? What the answer was? Well, brother, the genie is made of fire, so he, she catching fire, she's having sex with her. A shaitan, the shaitan and shaitan and shaitan is different. Look at this. 